Welcome to free, easy, lazy second part of the Swamp Gossips Hover tutorial with Adrian. Very high quality, low quality videos for these how to tutorials. Anyways, what you want to do for this part, if you want to do it how I do, target this wall, back block till you hit the root. You don't have to wait till he props up the whole way, but you do get a little extra height. Not really, doesn't matter that much height though. Anyways, do a height hover. That should work honestly. And then do another height hover, but this one you want to target. Please excuse me being sloppy. Next up, what I do is tap up. Now, the only reason I'm going into de detail about what I do is to make sure that the camera is relatively the same. And then that'll work out everything else for the trick. Uh, I think a lot of other people do what I do. I was not the first to do this. I was copying other people. Um, mostly. Uh, an easier version of it. Anyways. Alright, whatever. Tap up. Hold up. Then just spin the control stick up left. And then just spin it around the whole way until you get to down right. And what that's going to do is make Link shuffle his direction to as far left as he's willing to go. And that should make everything else consistent. If you saw the camera pan, that will affect the rest of the trick. But for the sake of this quick thing, it's going to be easy and everything's going to work out fine because the visual cue is so easy. Do a height hover. Oh, it's a little too late. Let Link shuffle back to neutral while well, the con control stick is neutral, just like your standard angle change in a hover. And then tap left, hold left. And target, do a height hover back. That height hover might be frame perfect, not really sure. Other people will know better than me. Anyways, I just want to make another safe state here. Do a mega. And if you're following this, you're probably going to want to buffer these and get perfect mega specifically. This will work with a second frame mega, but you want to end the first mega shorter. So, what I look for is, yes, very good pointer. You got the bomb choose like, right blue ear, this side, and then you got this giant branch coming out that protrudes down from the top right of the screen to the tube itself. Now, right now, it's overlapping with the orange part of the tube. Technically, that one might work, but I want to make absolutely certain if I'm buffering this, which means I'm going to go for the visual cue of specifically... This giant branch thing protruding out and, oh, there we go, protruding out and intersecting with the Chew's ear. Chew's going to overlap the branch a bit. This technically has, depending on your angles and everything, how that works out, like nine frames of leniency. But I think if you let the camera pan like I did, then it's only going to give you like four or five or something. Plenty to use this branch visual cue for this right here, especially if you're buffering if you want to make this consistent as possible. Anyways, shield. Now there's no need to target the two or anything because that makes things, it, it, I guess, a little faster or whatever, but it's just not necessary. This is a lazy, easy version. Do another mega, and I can't KZ buffer. Do another mega, preferably, of course, you want a first framer, but as long as your first mega was good, a second framer should work TM. Make a flip. And then you're going to hold right for the remainder of it. And then I'm also holding target. That's just going to make my, the rest of my movement into the the actual the light, I guess, that leads up to the grotto as consistent as possible and less sporadic. Then you're going to make it. Now, depending on your angle, how it worked out, you can just back walk. Otherwise, you're probably going to have to do some roll to the left and just move into the hole. Fantastic. Alright. Now let's just show this. Oh yeah, I didn't make a new save state. I forgot. Let me just show this real fast. In case... Yeah, real fast. Good job. Man. In case you want to actually make sure it does work with fast camera angles. Just how that works out. So again, camera, yeah, camera angle is going to be a little different here, but even if that's the case, you're going to get very similar visual cues with the right 
Jew ear, the Jew's right ear, and this and protruding branch root, whatever you want to call it, really. Shield. And then hold right, hold target, back lock. If that doesn't work, just do an up left roll. Boom. Very easy, very lazy, very easy, <laughs> very consistent hover. Uh, it just means that the first part's hard. If you have difficulty with this trick, I hope this helps. In any case, good luck, have fun.